Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video just to kind of get to know me a little bit better and for me to kind of tell you about myself a little bit more in depth. So I wanted to do 25 random facts about me. So without further ado, here are 25 random facts about me. Also, please don't judge me, but I have to use my iPhone because 25 is a lot of things. So the first fact is that I was born and raised in Cincinnati, Ohio. I have spent my whole life here other than the four years that I went away to college. Two, I am a Taurus. My birthday is on May 8th, so I am now 26 years old. I feel like I'm on the wrong side of 25 now, but I'm trying to embrace it. I am left-handed. Four is that I am multinational. I don't know if that's the best word, but I have many different nationalities in me. I am Greek, Italian, German, and Irish. I think I might even be a few other things too, but those are the four main things. I went to the University of Dayton for college, which is about an hour away from Cincinnati. Some people might not even think it's leaving Cincinnati technically, but it is a totally different city. They have like their own thing going on. So it is away from Cincinnati, just not very far, but that's where I went for college and it was a fun party school. Six, I met my boyfriend Joe at college at the University of Dayton and we have been dating for like six or seven years now. I met him my freshman year of college. So we've known each other a very long time. I feel like I'm talking way too much about like college in the past, but I studied journalism and marketing in college and I always thought I was gonna go into broadcast journalism. I either wanted to do something with fashion or sports, which I know are two very different things, but I really love both of those things and ended up not going into that field. I loved it, but I got into real estate instead. I am a sports fanatic. You might not know that about me because I don't really talk about it on my blog just because I don't know if people even care about that side of me, but I am like a football freak. I love NFL football, not a big college football person at all. I could care less about college sports, but I love professional football. I like to watch Bengals games by myself because I like get really crazy and I scream and I jump. Like it's not very girly or feminine, but that is just the most exciting adrenaline rush like ever when the Bengals win. And let's not talk about how last season ended. Nine, when I was in high school, I ran cross country for two years. So like I said, I love sports. Not very good at playing sports. I'm more of like a spectator, but I ran cross country for two years wasn't very good. I really didn't push myself. Um, I didn't really have that killer instinct back in the day, but it was a good workout. I probably was in the best shape of my life. And part of me wishes I still had that kind of like discipline because it, I mean, it makes you have a pretty good body. The one sport that I was always really good at was swimming. My whole childhood was spent in a swimming pool. I swam all the time. Backstroke was my best stroke. Um, I always was in like the competitive swim competitions at our pool for backstroke. Like every other stroke I wasn't very good at, but backstroke, I always got to compete in the competitive round. I always got second place though, because there was one girl from my swim club who was so freaking good at backstroke and she always beat me and it made me so mad. Cause I think she got on like the leaderboard or whatever, like the record board at our pool and I always wanted to be on that board and she always beat me and I always got second place, but backstroke was my go-to. 11 is that I work in real estate and I work with my dad. He's been in the business for 38 years now. I've been in it about two and a half years. It feels like a lifetime, but we work at Cutler Real Estate and we are a father-daughter team. Our team is the Johnson Real Estate Group and you can visit johnsonrealestategroup.com if you want any Cincinnati real estate information. Just a little shameless plug. So a few years ago, I went to real estate school because unfortunately college doesn't like mean that you can just get your real estate license. You have to take special classes to become a realtor. So I was in real estate school. It's like 45 minutes away from Cincinnati and I was always hungry. I'm still always hungry. I have a huge appetite and I hated real estate school. It was so boring. It was like 
nine hour days. They were very long days because I did it for three weeks straight and the classes were really long. So one day I was really bored, was thinking about lunch just to pass the time and I got online and was ordering Jimmy John's through my computer so it would be like ready and delivered right when our lunch break started because we had a very short window to eat lunch. Well, you know Jimmy John's little saying that, um, okay, I was trying to look up Jimmy John's like little mantra because I knew it was something about being really fast and I think it was freaky fast was their saying back in the day and it, sure enough, it was freaky fast. It was embarrassingly fast actually. So I'm sitting in my real estate class. I'm all excited. I think my Jimmy John's little veggie sub is ordered. And a few minutes later, all of a sudden, there is someone knocking on our door in our class. Mind you, our class had like 60 people in it, so it was a big class. So all of a sudden, the teacher opens the door and it is a Jimmy John's delivery person. Yes, they got to our class within five minutes of me ordering online. They interrupted our class to deliver me my sub. I was sitting in the very last row because like I said, wasn't very into real estate school and it was the most embarrassing thing I've ever experienced in my life. The little Jimmy John's worker was like, um, is Olivia Johnson here? And our teacher just like stopped class and he's like, Olivia, are you out there? And I was there in the back row wanting to die. I was so embarrassed. So the Jimmy John's worker walks to the back of our class in this huge room, delivers me my sub, I give them my money, and they go. So I'm just like sitting the last 20 minutes of class before lunch with my sub, clearly not paying attention because I had just ordered it during class time. It was so embarrassing. Looking back, it's really funny. Everyone else was like dying laughing. And I had a few friends my age in the class too. They were like hysterically laughing. It is really funny, but it's just so crazy and it still makes me blush to this day. My favorite food on this earth is mashed potatoes. I love any and every type of potato, but if you give me mashed potatoes, I will eat all of them. I wanted to open a potato restaurant when I was little because I'm so obsessed with potatoes, but I just love mashed potatoes and I could talk all day about them, but I won't. I have only broken my bones one time and that was a broken arm when I was four years old. I was jumping on the bed with my eyes closed and I fell off while my mom was in the shower and she was the only one home. So I had to like lay on the ground with my broken arm until she got out of the shower and that was the only time I've ever broken a bone. But I got a pink cast, so that made everything better. I have never left the North American continent. I've been to Canada, obviously the United States and Mexico, but I have never traveled abroad or left the immediate continent. 16 is a creepy one, but I am double jointed. I don't know if this looks weird to you because I'm so used to it, but I can do that with both of my arms. People say it's really creepy and they always ask me to stop, but that's been always my thing I go to when I need to tell a fact about myself is that I am double jointed. So my elbows like can pop out on command. I have a nut allergy. I've had it my whole life. I'll probably unfortunately have it the whole rest of my life too. I'm allergic to tree nuts, peanuts, all nuts, and it's not fun. This is so hard to think of 25 things. Oh my gosh. My mom is a twin, so she has a twin brother, and having twins skips a generation, so there's a good chance that I'll have twins when I have kids, which is exciting for me. Not the actual giving birth part, but I've always wanted twins, and I think that'd be really fun to have twins. 19, I started my blog almost four years ago in 2012, and I did it because I was searching for a job, and I discovered blogging and thought it was a really fun creative outlet and it's opened a lot of doors for me and totally changed my life. When I was a little kid, I desperately wanted to be on the TV show Figure It Out. If you watched Nickelodeon and group in the 90s, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was a game show of kids who had like weird hidden talents and then people had to guess what their talents were and one of these girls was able to fit through like a wire hanger and I thought that was so fascinating that I tried to fit through a wire hanger and shockingly I was able to, but I didn't want to steal her talent because she had already done that. So 
my talent was going to be that I collected 500 buckeyes from a buckeye tree in my woods. My friend and I got up one morning and collected hundreds of buckeyes and we wanted that to be like our skill or whatever, our claim to fame, but it never got very far. I don't even think we submitted it to the show and that's really not even that impressive looking back on it. <laughs> So even though I've never been abroad, I have three countries that I am dying to visit. They are London, Italy, and Greece. I've wanted to go to those three places my whole life. I see pictures all the time and it looks so beautiful and they're all so different and I'm hoping I can get to see those countries one day. I have one sibling, I have a younger brother. He is three years younger than me and he currently lives in Milwaukee and he goes to school there and yeah. My favorite book is The Great Gatsby. I am obsessed with that era, like the 20s, the roaring 20s, and just that jazz age when everything was like really glitzy and glamorous. Just the fashion from that era is to die for. And I've always dreamed of like having some type of Great Gatsby party or event or something. But that's my favorite book and my favorite like era and time, even though I wasn't alive then. But I've just always been fascinated with the Roaring Twenties. I am deathly, deathly, deathly afraid of snakes. I have been terrified of them my whole life. They are the creepiest things ever. Um, we had one crawl into our garage last year. I saw it crawl in and it was the most traumatizing experience of my life. I hate them. I will scream out loud if I see one. So you probably don't want to be around me when I encounter a snake. <laughs> 25, I thought I would end this video on a high note and an obvious note probably, but my favorite drink is champagne. I love champagne. My favorite is like pink champagne because it's so sweet. I'm a sweet girl. I don't love the dry stuff. I like it, but I definitely lean more toward the sweet side. My mom and I love champagne. Um, yeah, so I'm filming this video on a Saturday, so I think I have you know, a glass of the bubbly on my mind. So that is 25 things about me. I hope you guys got to know me a little bit better through those really weird, really random facts and stories about me. I probably rambled on way too long like I always do, but it's funny to reminisce and like look back on things. Be sure to click the subscribe button down below if you aren't already subscribed to my channel. I make new videos every week Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week for a new video. Bye.